Most likely, you're already aware of how technology, specifically computers and the Internet, benefit you every day. Everything from grocery checkout lines to weather prediction relies on computers. But how does technology impact the classroom? In this lesson, we'll explore the different slants on what integrating technology in the classroom means, as well as why technology integration is so important. Computers and related technologies can have a deep impact on how students learn and how teachers instruct. For instance, you know how crazy kids get over video games. It shouldn't come as a surprise, then, that technology can be a highly motivating factor for children. Anything from PCs, CDs, DVDs, eBooks, the Internet, PDAs, instructional software, and multimedia programs can be integrated into the learning environment. Not all students are created the same. Some are visual learners, some are auditory, and still others absorb the most from hands-on activities. Some enjoy working alone, while others prefer group work. Using a variety of tools, such as those that technology provides, helps motivate students with diverse styles of learning. For instance, online lessons can reach visual learners, and group learners can appreciate the collaboration that computer labs provide them. Now for a definition. Integration of technology in the classroom can be defined in a number of ways. Very basically, it is the combination of technology with curriculum to enhance the learning experience. Keep in mind, this experience involves both the students and the teacher. Working technology into the classroom environment not only benefits students, but helps educators as well, and we'll touch on some of these ways. Here's one example of how you might integrate technology into, and thereby enrich, a class. Consider teaching students how to create simple websites, and then instead of writing book reports, have them create a site devoted to a book they've read. In this scenario, what kinds of pages could you suggest the students include? List your ideas in the lines, using Tab to move around. Then check your answers, and click Next to move on. Of course, in order to use technology in the classroom, teachers must know or learn that technology, most notably how to use a PC. This is one aspect of how integrating technology in the class can be defined. Another component of the definition encompasses how technology helps teachers and staff do their jobs, such as preparing grade books, planning lessons, updating student rosters, and other behind-the-scenes activities. A third facet of the definition entails how PCs can be incorporated in the actual classroom. For instance, students in a graphic arts class could design a logo on a PC using painting software or drawing software. Additionally, teachers can use technology as they're teaching a lesson such as by using a spreadsheet application to gather and analyze class data, and then display it using an overhead projector. Our final aspect of the definition is much more expansive. It covers how technology can be integrated into every element of each student's learning life. For example, schools can implement online library catalogs. Drama coaches can videotape student performances so they can later evaluate them and administration can keep a database of all students, teachers, and staff. Long gone are the days of just chalkboard and chalk. Using technology helps reach, engage, and motivate students with diverse styles of learning. 
We've only skimmed over the ways technology can be brought into the educational environment, as well as different ways to interpret what classroom integration of technology means. All in all, learning is enhanced when teaching is augmented by technology. Here are some real-life examples of how the concepts discussed in this lesson could be used in a classroom, either as a teaching tool or an administrative aid.